Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Sunday, February 4th, 2024. I pray that the Lord will continue to be with you and may his face continue to shine upon you and give you peace. Our reading today comes to us from Luke chapter 13, reading verses 6 to 9. And it says, He speak also this parable, A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came and sought fruit thereon, and found none. Verse 7, Then he said unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down, why cumber it it the ground? It, and he answering said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it. Nine and last says, And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Amen. Now in this parable of the fig tree, the owner of the vineyard came one year and he didn't find any fruit on the fig tree. Now according to the reading, it was over a three year period that he has been visiting his vineyard and this particular tree. Now when he came, he spoke to the dresser and told the dresser to cut down the tree because there's no point in the tree being there and just taking up space. Now the dresser responded by asking the owner to give the tree a little bit more time. So he's gonna do a little bit more pruning and a little bit more care and then if it doesn't bear any fruit still, then he will cut it down. Now, as we make the application to our own spiritual life, the owner of the vineyard is God, the dresser is Jesus, and the fig tree is us. Now, God has planted us in his vineyard, and we are expected to bear fruit. Now, what are the fruits you may ask we should bear? The fruit can be identified like this. Kindness, love. As a matter of fact, in Galatians 5, it tells us what are the fruits of the Spirit. And so it says that the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, and so on. Now, if we are the fig tree, and a fig tree is supposed to bear fruit, and if we are not bearing any fruit at all, then what purpose do we really serve? And so the, the message here is that we are to bear fruit. The Lord expects us to bear fruit. So... If you are in the church for a very long time and you're not bearing any fruit, then you are in danger of being cut down. But nevertheless, there is good news for us. Because yes, because of our lack of fruit, the Lord still shows us mercy. Our fruitless life demands that we be cut down. But Jesus said, give him another chance. Give him some more time. And so that is why we must not cast off others. We must show mercy. Yes, when a person do wrong, the wrong require our demands, punishment for whatever the person did. But it doesn't have to be that way. You can show mercy. And so you may say, how is this person, you know, like this for so long and they're not changing and, you know, Yes, that may be true, but remember that God works differently and everybody grow at a different pace. And so the Lord is giving us enough time for us to change, enough time for us to start bearing fruit. He is not willing that any should perish, but that all would come to repentance. And so that is why he gives time. Yes, sin demand that we be cut down. Sin demands that we be punished when we break God's law. But mercy stepped in and said no. And so with the time that we have been given, let us use it wisely so that we are not found in the balance wanting at the end. And so let us not waste the time that we have been given, the extension that we have been given to bear fruit because this extension won't last forever. Amen. And so may we make use of the time so that when the Lord come and visit us again, 
he will find fruit that he can be proud of. And so that is my encouragement for us today. May our life be fruitful and may we become a blessing to those around us. And may we become hope to this world as we continue to lead men and women to the Lord. Amen.